It's been a week since several residents on A Street in Lincoln have been left wondering how they're now having to purchase new appliances. Lights, no nothing. My oven, my microwave, my dishwasher, my TVs, nothing has power. This after a power surge caused by PG&E. We'll fried all the computer boards on which are in your appliances now. So I fried all that, fried three of my light fixtures, just blew them all the way out. This one is like is getting power, but none of the like see how it's all black. Lindsay West tells us her appliance damages alone are thousands of dollars. I've been having to eat out at restaurants every meal and I don't have that kind of money to just, you know, be going out all the time and even if we do, it's like, okay, bring your leftovers home or something, but now I don't have a way to even warm anything up. And they're now concerned about what this means for their pocket. Any way I look at it, it's going to cost me out of my pocket to replace everything to get everything back working. We reached out to PG&E. They say a representative has been working with customers and given them instructions on filing a claim and seeking reimbursement. That claim form says that if their negligence results in any damages, they're obligated to reimburse reasonable damages. In an email sent to Lindsay West, a claims investigator cites California law and explains that PG&E is responsible for paying fair market value at the time of the damage or the repair cost and adds that they can not pay for the benefits already derived from the past use of the appliances, which residents say is unfair just before the holidays. Why should I, <clears throat> excuse me, go spend 1200 bucks for a new stove? I, mean, I know mine's 10 years old, but it works fine. It was always taken care of. And that's one of my biggest stresses right now is I can't, you know, I'm not in a position to just have thousands of dollars laying around to replace these items like I I can't. According to PG&E's online claim form, other damages included are food spoilage, restaurant receipts, and lost wages. Affected customers do have to provide proof such as photos and documentation. In Lincoln, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. And there are some things you can do in case of a power surge like this. Make sure and check your homeowner's insurance to see if power surges are covered. Make sure your electronics are plugged into a surge protector and have an electrician check your breaker box to make sure that it's in good working order.